Hey, what's up guys, Sergeant Central here, and welcome to a new video. So, this is going to be quite a different video. This is going to be branching off of our Mac tutorials, and this is actually going to be an in-depth tutorial of CSGO. And this is a game that can be played on Steam. As you can see here, this is the only game that I have in my Steam library, which is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And it's actually like a really fun shooter game, and I'll leave all the links below in the description if you guys want to check it out and want to give it a try. But this video is mainly for the people that do already have the game and are experiencing FPS issues and other issues with speed of the game and stuff like that, which is common on a Mac, as Mac is not optimized um, for gaming or anything like that. So let's check out the specs on my Mac before we get started. I have um, an early 2015 11-inch MacBook Air running on macOS High Sierra right now. This is generally, if you have this computer, this is this is the latest update for it. So if you have the computer, this is what you're going to be running. Um, graphics until HD graphics, 6,536 megabytes. And yeah, that's that's um, that's what it is. Um, let's look at our storage real quick. You can see how much I have 50 gigabytes available. It's quite awesome. So the premise of this video will be how to increase your FPS in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So, let's head into our Counter-Strike, and this is the FPS that we're running in the menu right now. FPS in the menu does not really matter unless you're opening cases and such like that. But as you can see, I have NetGraph, on, uh, Netgraph 1 on. So basically what you're going to do to enable this to see your FPS is you're going to want to go into keyboard and mouse. So you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to go to toggle console and you want to set it to any button that you want on your keyboard to uh, toggle this. And for me, it's going to be L. It's comfortable. If you, you, I recommend it to you guys. It's actually pretty easy. Um, after that, you're going to want to go into game setting and in this first uh, tab up here, you're going to want to click enable developer console. To, it's going to be on no and you're going to want to switch it to yes. So after that, all you want to do is click on that button to go into your console. And after you're done this, you're going to want to type net underscore, oops, net underscore graph one. And for this, I'm going to do zero. So this is basically what you're going to be doing. This I'll explain later in the video. So let's open up our console again and type the simple command net graph one. As you can see, it pops up this little menu here. It tells your tick, SV, your var, FPS, loss, and ping. So ping, I have zero. I'm in the main menu. Can't really, there's no ping related things. It's basically to increase your FPS. Let's look what I have right now in my video settings. I'm running generally high for everything, but for the premise of this video, I'm gonna have to go to very low for everything. So that's general. What I did, what was on before, generally what all you guys are gonna have on. So you're gonna wanna enable your settings or change your settings to exactly everything I have. And I, at the end of the video, this is you'll have a higher FPS than what you had before. And again, this up here is my optimized settings. This is what I prefer, but these are your optimized settings if you want to increase your FPS on Mac. So for these video settings up here, this is the best possible option if you want your game to still look nice, but also run over 60 FPS. So my resolution, uh, 366 times 766. So decent widescreen 16 by nine. And yeah, this it's still look it's pretty sm it's smooth in game and um, yeah so these are the things you want to do but this isn't all of it this will help this this is a drastic change than what it was before so you're gonna want to click apply after that your game's gonna freeze a little bit as you can see and obviously I'm recording too so my FPS is gonna vary a little bit but it'll be 10 frames different so let's see what's it at right now it's in between 100 FPS so but this is my menu like I said it didn't matter. And basically what you're going to need to do to increase your FPS, you have to do those options there. And I've seen in many other videos, um, there's a launch settings where you can put in your console on this, this, that's not needed when you're doing this method. So basically what you're going to need to do is download an offline map. It's a workshop map um, called FPS Benchmark. And basically what you can do, you can just open up uh, your shift tab, which will lead you to this page right here. We'll go to your web browser on Google and just type in FPS bench FPS benchmark it'll lead you to the Steam Workshop page and I'll actually leave all the links for this in the description so you don't have to go into this but if you'd like to and like to do it this way that's all you have to do and you're going to click the subscribe button I'm already subscribed uh, you're just going to click subscribe and uh, yeah that's all you need to do after that you should click uh, your play tab offline with bots go to workshop in all maps click FPS benchmark 
and enable no bots. So it's going to load you into the map right now. Obviously, it's going to take a minute or two, but um, I've been looking on YouTube recently about CSGO because it's one of my all-time favorite games, and um, it sucks to see that not a lot of videos are on Mac because I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you homies out there are actually on Mac and stuck on Mac and really want to get off it, but you can't. Same here. Like, I want to get off this Mac, but I, I, I can't, can't get rid of it, so... For any of you guys stuck on Mac, or you actually like Mac, you enjoy it. I, I enjoy it sometimes. I enjoy it. It's, it's not the best for gaming. Let's uh, let's be real here. Um, but so let's continue with the map. This, I like I said, but let's go back to the point I was before uh, on YouTube. There's oh, it's over a year and close to two years that a lot last time an FPS video was uploaded for Mac. So let's enter the server. So let's see. As you can see. In the top right corner here, I'm going between 60 FPS, and as you can see, it's very smooth, very very smooth. And so you want to go over to these helpful commands that might increase your FPS. And basically, it's a bunch of commands that you can type yourself. I'm using this nifty uh, uh, nifty um, command mortar here. Sorry, um, you can actually just change that with the, with the shot of your gun. So let's do that right now. Turn that on. You might see that I miss this one here, and I like to play community servers a lot more than I prefer to do uh, matchmaking or anything like that casual. And this is because in community, this is what lets you play in community servers. If the community server runs ads, then you can't uh, play on that server. So it, it keeps this off. It doesn't really affect anything. And basically, all you're gonna have to do once you click all these is save. And before my FPS was uh, varying in 60, just straight 60, maybe 60s and 50s. Now it's uh, it's 70s, so as you can see, the gameplay is actually very, very, very smooth. See, there's even a moving object right here, and I'm still clearly getting 70 FPS, and the FPS drops because I'm actually just open chat and it's uh, having to download this. But see, it's generally in 70, going between 80 FPS when you shoot your gun. Generally, it's staying on the bright side of uh, 60 FPS and 80 FPS. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to enable all of these values on here. Click everything that I've done. And I'll head back into the video settings, actually. Right here, I'll give you guys a second if you want to take a picture of it, or screenshot it, or just pause the video and copy it, simply. So there you go. Then again, you can play. It would probably run better on a 4x3 aspect ratio with the lowest possible um, resolution that you can do. Um, but for this video, um, and the purpose of this video was how to run CSGO on your Mac, optimize settings, and make it look as best as possible. So you could definitely run over 80 FPS, or run over what I'm doing right now, if you were to go on 4x3, but it does not look great. It's, it, it looks the, the gameplay looks fat, it looks choppy, and it does not look nice. Um, the gameplay doesn't look nice, but the game is faster. So if you're if you're all about that, you don't really care about how the game looks, and you want it to just just run extremely well, then hit the four x three button on your settings and uh, switch to that. So here you can do an FPS to benchmark performance test right here, and it'll take you through smokes and stuff like that. I'm actually not going to do that for the purpose of this video because it'll be extremely laggy since I'm recording. And let's go back to that idea that I am recording right now. It 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 is off about 10 or 20 FPS. So add 10 or 20 FPS to this total up here, and that's what your FPS should be. So let's see what the average is. It's generally running about in the 70s and 60s. So let's add 10 or 20. In this case, let's do 20. So you'd be running at 80 or 90 FPS when doing these tips that I've given you in the video. So really simple tips. All you really have to do is go in your web browser. Type in FPS bench, um, benchmark, second link that comes up, the Steam Workshop. And uh, yeah, here it is. It's up. It, it was made in 2015. It's still extremely helpful to this day. If you want to click subscribe, then go in your offline bots, and you can uh, play here. You want to set your settings to these. Click Save. And this, will, this is a drastic change your FPS, because let's go to... We'll, we'll do a comparison real quick right here. Let's just go to all that. And you, you, can, you guys probably can't tell, 
Um, it is a bit choppy, as you can see in the FPS and the net graph. It is more in the 60s for this one. So let's also go to our video settings. Put everything to what the auto is. We're going to enable everything. I'm just doing it to generally what the normal settings in uh, Counter-Strike are. So I'm just going to keep that off. So let's apply. Let's see how much lower our FPS is than what it would be with using these optimized settings. So we'll do a direct comparison. It's taking a little bit and this is, it is slow. So I'm curious to see um, what the FPS change is gonna be. It's definitely gonna be different. And there we go, there, there, there is a clear winner right here. So as you can see, I'm running about 50, 60 FPS. Then again, this is, this is high performance. It's still running very well when um, Doing this, so as you can see, it's 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 jumping more in the yellow here. It's it's staying in the yellow consistently. So after doing these changes right here, let's go do the changes again. Everything but the third one, uh, disable HTML because that enables you to play community servers. Save and see from that, it is generally um, about from between the 60s and the 50s, but before it wasn't. So let's actually go back to the video settings. It's really very low. Honestly, it doesn't really change much from uh, putting these to very low instead of high because um, it really only changes the, the skins and like maybe like the dust on the map, but otherwise it still looks very nice when you have this aspect ratio and resolution on uh, 16 by 9 and the resolution that's displayed here. It's still very, very, very nice. So back in the game, and see, as you can see, it's much more smooth. You guys probably can't see it because my recorder is 60 FPS, but it is much more smooth. Um, see, it's not even going to the 50s anymore. It's only constantly staying in, staying in green, which is perfect. So, yeah, guys. So, also just wanted to give a quick update. I'm finished with the video now. If you guys are not interested in future growth of my channel or anything other than this video, um, you can click off the video, drop a like, though, drop a comment, and... Uh, Turn your notifications on to get more um, update videos and such like this. So I want to give an update for the summer. I'm actually, it, it's summer. School's over, as you can see. Um, it's June 30th. It's school's ended. It's school's ended a week ago. So there's going to be a lot more uploads, and I've actually done some upgrades on my computer, and I can do a lot more quality videos. My my previous videos were not were not too great. I'm not, I'm not going to do the first one to uh, to admit that. Um, but yeah, we're um, we're trying to progress on the YouTube channel. I want to become more of a tutorial-based channel directly with Mac um, OS X uh, content. So we're gonna generally do that. We're gonna focus on that, and there's gonna be at least one upload a week. Now that sounds pretty low. It, it is low. Um, I want the videos to be the best that they possibly can, being the most helpful that they possibly can uh, for you guys, though. So. That's really all I want to let you guys know. There's going to be uh, one, uh, one upload a uh, week minimum on the channel. Uh, it's all going to be Mac related. Uh, whether that be FPS, um, changes in games, how to increase like the overall performance of your Mac computer, or just like top 10 games or something. It's, it's always going to be related to Mac. So all you Mac homies out there, it's going to be uh, really helpful to, uh, to you guys. So that's really all I want to say in the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped for you. Um, it helped for me for sure. So I um, hope it helps you guys. I'll leave all the links that you need in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks. Peace.